right unajua watu wengine eh, tusi tusichukue eh, eti kwamba mimi nimechaguliwa by the same people who elected uhuru kenyatta you know that mm -hmm. yeah yes yeah so until those people decide that i leave mm -hmm. nobody can tell me to leave wow ndio bwana no. wale nilienda kuwauliza kazi hawajaniambia niondoke so eh unaniambia kuni, wewe Martin unaniambia niondoke kama <laughs> nani <laughs> 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 president ali niza kuona usiondoke analira watu kile kile facebook pale page yetu ya wero tv eh, na naibu rais nataka tuongelelee mambo ya meru na mount kenya lakini kwanza kabisa niko na wenzangu hapa kutoka wacha nijibu mambo yako ya kiraitu no. kiraitu ndio rafiki yetu no. na kiraitu, kiraitu ni mtu mzuri mm -hmm. lakini namuelewa mm -hmm. unajua katika Kenya tumefika mahali pabaya sana kwamba viongozi wengi wanashurutishwa mm -hmm. na wanatuambia tunakutana na wao usiku wanakuja kututembelea usiku wanashurutishwa wewe usipofanya hii utafanyiwa hii mm -hmm. utapelekwa DCI siju utapelekwa ESCC siju utapelekwa wapi utatumiwa KRA viongozi wengi wanaishi katika hii Kenya na uoga mwingi kwa sababu tumepindua mambo ambayo ya demokrasia where people are supposed to be free to choose their political to have their political choices sasa kila eh, kwanza na unaona wale wengi wanaunga mkono eh, former prime minister ni magavana why because wana, magavana being executives pengine kuna mambo wamefanya so kila mtu anaambiwa faili yako kumi iko hapa sasa wewe lazima uende uimbe wimbo fulani otherwise utapelekwa kotini. Na ndio nilikuwa nasema leo. Kila kitu pia ah. ni hivyo hivyo. Eh <laughs> sitaki kusema sana <laughs> lakini your, your guess is as good as mine. So mimi nakwambia <clears throat> kwanza it is not right. Yeah. Kuendesha siasa ya nchi kutumia eh, criminal justice system. Ku blackmail watu ku intimidate watu tulitoka serikali ya kanu ya zamani ambayo ilikuwa na tabia mbovu ya kutumia eh, coercion na blackmail na threat kujaribu kuendesha mambo ya siasa siasa mbona kama William Ruto anauza sera fulani and you have a better idea why don't you come and sell it to the people of Kenya why do you have to use the police or the DCI or the ESCC to try and push your political agenda why don't you come and sell your ideas to the people of Kenya they are intelligent they can decide which is a better idea which is the best idea which is the good idea they can be able to make those choices right so hii mambo yote ya kusukumana hapa haina maana and it is it is not necessary is it by default ama ni by design that wale watu wote wanakusupport bwana deputy president mm -hmm. wako na makesi anawafuata <laughs> everybody watu wengi hawa watu wengi wana, wana, ni, ni my, my, my friends yeah. wengi mm -hmm. wamepelekwa kotini yeah. kwa sababu ya kukataa kuachana na mimi mm -hmm. huyu gashagwa huyu aliendewa akaambiwa kama unataka usipo wachana na William Ruto mm -hmm tutakupangia kesi tukupeleke kotini akasema kama unataka kupanga kesi peleka mimi kotini it's okay akapangiwa kesi akaambiwa 22 uh, 2013 akaenda kutafutiwa kesi ya 2013 oh sijui ulifanya contract mali fulani sijui ulifanya kazi mimi nakataka nikuulize wewe mate kama kashagwa angekuwa na kesi from 2013 mpaka saa hii ilikuwa inangoja nini and what is the relationship between he kuambiwa if you don't leave william ruto tutakupeleka kotini what is the relationship you know these are the kind of things that uh, we cannot buy na ndio unasikia wengine wetu tunasema we cannot buy these blackmail threats and intimidation that is being sold to us and even if it is free we don't want it we want to make a decision as the people of kenya na kenyans waachwe wajiamulie viongozi wao umemuuliza rais mbona hii mambo inaendelea hata kama ningekumkua nimemuuliza rais unafikiri ningekwambia 
Sio ni discussion kati yangu na rais. How, how do I? Uge kwa unasema vya 